Johnny Sport TV is all about the sports in the DFW. On today's show, what's the uh, connection between science fiction and sports? I think I can wrap this up in two words, roller derby. I'm going to interview the folks from Assassination City. You want to find out what roller derby is all about and what some lovely ladies doing dressed up and banging each other around. All coming up next, you're on Donnie Sport TV on the Donnie Sport Network on YouTube. No, we wear fishnets for a reason. We skate for an hour at about 15 miles an hour. And that's really hard and you get really sweaty. So you don't want to have a lot of clothing on. <laughs> However, when you hit the ground in a baseball slide, do you mind doing it again? Your hip runs along the ground. Notice Calypso did not do that. <laughs> nothing on her hips. The fishnets allow us to wear something that protects us and slides us along the track without having us wear anything on our legs. So they do have a purpose. This is why I wanted this around me. Okay. But the side effect of fishnets is the burn. Do you know what happened? <laughs> the fishnet burn or the ring rash is a permanent scar on your hips or butt Thank you. created by your hiney slamming into the track as hard as you can and the fishnets making a waffle imprint on the side of your leg. <laughs> if you guys come by our booth in the main hall, we have lots of fishnet burn pictures. The fresh ones, the red ones, the goofy ones. They're pretty bad. Awesome. Any questions about how the game is played? Yes, Mr. Awesome. Um, I was curious, a lot of the girls get hurt a lot, and I know Trigger had a real bad injury. Do you guys have like an insurance program or anything to help cover that? We <laughs> do have an insurance program. All Derby girls, if you are interested in signing up, which we can do today, are required to have primary insurance. I work at a church. So I do not have a lot of primary insurance. You can get $20 a month Blue Cross and Blue Shield, which covers death and dismemberment, which is <laughs> We also have a $40 a year ad additional insurance through the Women's Flat Track Derby Association that all women are required to pay once they join the league. And as Pyro pointed out, we also have the Injured Skaters Fund which we take up collections at each one of our bouts and from the skaters themselves to support our fellow fallen roller girls. <laughs> okay. I have my x-ray on my cell phone and I show it to everyone even if they don't want to see it. Um, <laughs> to almost two years ago, actually in June, it'll be two years, I shattered my left leg, uh, the tibia in three places, the fibula in eight, I have two plates and 17 screws. Interestingly enough, on the one year anniversary of my surgery, my teammate, Trigger Mortis, had a similar break. It was the exact same break. It was broken in 11 places, eight on one and three on the other, on the anniversary of hers, which is really weird. So we don't skate on one. We're going to practice this time. What is it, June, June 11th? June 11th. No, do not skate on June 11th. And uh, I have two plates and 32 screws in my left leg now. So, but I'm Trigger 2.0 now. I'm better skate <laughs> Um, which we'll demonstrate here in a minute, and I took it incorrectly, um, which was to say I stood up and uh, ran into the rails on the side of our rink and twisted my body around, and I dislocated this hip and pulled two of the uh, ligaments up the back. So I'm not on skates currently, and it's driving me crazy, because once you get on them, you don't want to take them off. <laughs> Dance troops ever to hit the Metroplex. If you look at them right now, their name's the Lollipop. This woman is named Malicious. Yes, I'm Miss Malicious. And that's right, yeah. And tell me in two minutes everything you need to know about the Lollipop. Uh, we are a Dallas based burlesque group. We've been around for about three years now. Um, I've been in the group for about two years. Um, we do vintage burlesque, but we also do um, some punk rock burlesque, some 
you know, just different types of burlesque. Uh, we do a bi-monthly show at the Pocket Sandwich Theater, so we'll be there April 17th and 18th, and then we will also be there in June and then every other month after that. Um, we are performing at AllCon, and we do do private parties, and we perform all over the place. We'll be at Maz and Rockers. We will be at Hot Rods and Heels in May. Um, so definitely come check us out. We always have pasties for sale. We always have shirts for sale. All of our pasties are handmade. Um, we're just a badass group of girls that just like to go out and put on a great show. And, as, and I'm still getting nice buzz about that recent show you guys did, that burlesque show over at the Texas Theater. Dallas Burlesque Festival? Yes. Awesome, yes. We love to perform there. Um, it was a really good time. We did a group number and we did a couple solos. Um, Black Mariah just left. Um, she actually did a solo as well and so did I. I broke a lot of stuff. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah, we just we love to do what we do. So. That's right. And you guys got a website? To yes, um, we are on MySpace, and we have a website. So it's www.lollybombs.com. And then we have our MySpace, which is MySpace at lollybombs.com. That's right. So go check out the Lollybombs. They're a super group. Yes, and come you check will us out. Have fun. Yes, you will have so much fun. Come check us out. All right. Thank you.